biggest upcoming mega project in Australia by 2030. We have good news for all of you who often use air transport in Australia or outside of Australia for work. And for you who are a big tourist, Australia is implementing a large upcoming mega project and is getting a new airport. Haven't heard of it yet? Don't worry, you will find out everything in today's video. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects. To start talking about this great project and other projects around the world as soon as possible, subscribe to our channel and like the video. So let's continue now. Western Sydney International Airport, also known as Badgeries Creek Airport, is under construction in Sydney, Australia. It is one of the most significant infrastructure developments in the country. In 2019, the federal government proclaimed that the airport would be named Nancy Bird Walton International Airport in honor of the Australian aviator Nancy Bird Walton. NSW Premier Gladys Berejiklian stated that the naming is an absolutely inspiring choice as the name for the new airport. The construction plan was finalized by the Australian government in December 2016, but a groundbreaking ceremony at the construction site was held in September 2018. The airport is being constructed in stages, with the first stage scheduled for completion in 2026, when the airport is expected to commence international and domestic passenger and freight services. The first phase is expected to accommodate 10 million passengers a year, while the airport will be expanded further, depending on the demand. So what does this project mean for the whole country? It will boost Western Sydney's economy by creating 28,000 direct and indirect jobs by 2031, including approximately 1,200 direct jobs during the airfield construction stage. That's great, right? But where will the airport be constructed? Badgeries Creek was selected as the ideal location for the proposed airport after evaluating 80 sites in the Greater Sydney region. The 1,780-hectare site is double the size of the existing Kingsford Smith Airport and offers proximity to road and rail transport links. Western Sydney Airport will serve domestic and international passengers, as well as air cargo services. Like every airport in the world, you will say, right? However, this is no ordinary airport. Sketches and projects were carefully made, and a lot of effort and money was invested. The construction of this project will cost an incredible $6 billion. Can you believe it? We already told you that the construction will take place in several phases. The first stage of the project involves the construction of a passenger terminal, a single runway, cargo facility, maintenance areas, ground transportation facilities, car parks, and supporting infrastructure. The construction also covers the realignment of Badgeries Creek Road, the relocation of utilities, the construction of a new roundabout on Elizabeth Drive, bulk earthworks, and stockpiling. The most important thing about this project is that the airport's design provides scope for expansion to meet future demand. Two runways of equal length were proposed for the airport, and the first one will be 3,700 meters long and capable of handling 63,000 aircraft movements a year. At full capacity, it will handle approximately 185,000 aircraft movements and 37 million passengers a year. Construction of the second runway will be initiated based on demand by 2050. The two runways will together be able to serve 82 million passengers and handle approximately 370,000 aircraft movements annually. And until the passengers reach the runway, there is a terminal for them. It is being built between the two proposed runways in the midfield area to optimize the connection between landside operations and the airfield. Similar to other airports and terminals, this one will include a baggage drop system, security desks, kiosks, migration, immigration areas, baggage handling and claim areas, departure lounges, and commercial areas. There will also be landscape gardens, entertainment venues, and dining and retail spaces. The entrance of the terminal will feature soaring timber ceilings, while vertical gardens will enhance the airport's beauty. And one more thing. In addition to its great purpose and its appearance, the terminal will also be environmentally acceptable because its roof will be installed with a solar power generator capacity, and it will be able to harvest rainwater. Well, it is a clever plan, don't you think? If you are coming to the airport by car, don't worry. This is included in the construction plan too, so the airport has a parking lot with space for as many as 12,500 cars. It will also include multi-story commercial parking for airport customers, employees, rental cars, and emergency service vehicles. Although there were obstacles in the implementation of this project, everything is still going according to plan. Not only this, but also other projects around the world were slowed down or completely stopped by the coronavirus pandemic. 
You may have heard that in 2021, there were serious floods that affected the whole of Australia. But despite everything, the construction of this airport is progressing, and we believe that the deadline for completion of the first phase in 2026 will be met. Hey, that's only in four years. If the promise is fulfilled, here we are in four years at the new airport in Sydney, like real tourists with suitcases. Unfortunately, we have to inform you that this is the end of the video. But don't worry, we will be together again soon. And until then, we will prepare more interesting videos for you and show some more billionaire projects from around the world. Now, we are waiting for your comments, so please write them in the section below. Drop a like and share the video. Don't forget to turn on the notification and subscribe. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We will meet you soon again.